Hello everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. This is episode 9. Last time we were doing more missions on Vold, just chipping away at multiple tasks we have going on at the moment and uh, we left off about to infiltrate the Ket facility. So we've got some pals with us. My squad has been assembled. Uh, we're going to just continue where we left off and head right into this facility and, uh, and see how it goes. Uh, so we've got a squad of five uh, at the moment. We've got some uh, Angaran friends as we, um, I guess, try and infiltrate in here. Let's have a look. Let's hack this service Running panel. Shield disable program. Adding my process accelerator. Stand by. Continue to stand by. Please don't embarrass me in front of our new friends. <laughs> yes! It worked! Nice, Sam. Please don't embarrass me in front of my new friends. A long way to go. Hell yeah, sorry. Squad of six in total. There's uh, three Angaran pals with me. And they got guard dogs. And they got guard dogs. Okay. Sam, by the time we leave, I want to know everything about this place. Yes, Pathfinder. All right, let's go. Owen, Skelv, you're on me. There's some really good, there's some really good like dialogue moments like, like that with uh, like Ryder, Ryder and Sam uh, actually having some sort of like a, a connection or rapport between each other is really cool. I, I like that a lot. Gave me a, uh, there's a subtle of, of uh, Infinity War. <laughs> vibe there where you know Tony's just like you're embarrassing me in front of the wizard <laughs> so good let's melee our way in here but we uh we weren't wrong you know we we did say Sam's gonna be able to get him get himself in here and he did it let's have a look on this map Alright, so, secret room uncovered by smashing some panels. Let's go in here. Actually, can I scan in it? I can. I can scan the exhaust vent. Alright, you guys go on with the rest of the mission. I'm going to get my scanner out and <laughs> accumulate research points. Oh god. Hello, everyone. Oh! Do you see this height? Yes! Incredible! I can't believe I'm here! I bet neither can these guys! Nice. Oh god. Uh, now I'm down here. Keep up the pressure! Owen! On your left! What's the matter, alien? Can't keep up! <laughs> <laughs> this is fun! It's cool having a full squad. Oh, you've got shield on. Of course you do. Oh, let me just miss all of my shots, that's fine. I've stared at the outsides of these places so many times. I can't believe we got in. Our people's things are here. Abandoned. From the prisoners. Do we have time to... Can we just look around? Puddle up! If we were a surprise, I doubt we're one anymore. You have the best chance of finding Moshe Sefa. We'll attack head-on and provide a distraction. Good plan. This is going to be fun. This is the main entrance. We'll go this way. Kick in the front door. Stay in radio contact. And good luck. Cool. Alright, let's search for the Mashiach. Cool squad. Translated from Selesh, the Angaran datapad. If anyone gets this, please tell my family that, so far, I'm fine. Benji and Stoller and I were on a dig, and we were captured. They took us to a holding area and did a bunch of tests on us, 
Blood and skins and scans. Now I'm in a group of prisoners that includes the Mashai. I got to talk to her for a long time. It's incredible and sad, although they seem to be treating her especially well. Tell Jazzle not to blame herself. Our work is worth the res uh, these risks. Stay strong and clear. Rock. Count on it. Pathfinder, it seems the program I used to breach the shield could overload it and destroy this facility. However, the pulse would be lethal to Angaran physiology. Ooh, okay. That's not ideal. Yeah, killing your allies is a lousy plan. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh. Here it is. Life begins now. Oh, it's a solid thing. I can walk oh. through it. Spreading cat propaganda. Blood up. Oops. Well, Sam, what is this? A decontamination protocol. The chamber is sealed until the cycle runs its course. Uh. We're trapped. I hate that. What if we treat it as a contaminant? <laughs> Break the window. No, the seal is invulnerable. Decontamination. What for? Good question. Medical or survival, maybe. Germaphobes? I guess we passed the test. We're allowed in. Pathfinder, come in. How's it going? We're undetected, but from where we're hiding, we can see some of our people. We seem to be in a kill only area. No more shy yet. Understood. We're just discussing our next move. We'll be in touch. Okay. Desks. This is what some folks call a classroom, right? Huh? What's that thing against the wall? No idea. Stasis pod would be my hypothesis. Connects to a larger system. Could be they are sending them back to the cat home world. Maybe. Traces of both Angaran and cat genetics are present. Components are similar to those in database records that relate to reproductive sterilization or immunosuppression. Okay. Today we're going to learn about stasis pods. Chosen beasts of Helios, the Wraith. Pre-arrival recon identified the native uh, Chalaron as initial species to be flung, embraced, bandied for exalt uh, exaltation. On arrival in Helios, a facility was built and the long road to harmonization with Ket genetics began. Ability to cloak harmonized from unknown reference genetics brought from the Ket homeworld. Hypothesize, quantify level of harmonization necessary at prime success. Yes. Yes. What about this one? Purification, pledging, or awakening. For the Chosen, which of these is the most important step? Which is the most important for Archon? For all Ket? For you? At what point are you done and relieved of duty? Pain is proof of harmony. True? Explain your reasoning. Yeah, this is literally like Ket education. Interesting. This is such a bizarre little room, actually. Little cat school. Teach them how to be cat. Oops. Okay. Well, that didn't quite go as planned. Renderable plates. Dinner time. Okay, let's stay sharp. Huh, quite the setup. They all sleep here. Some kind of commune. Oh no, it's sleeping time. Toss the place, job. Whatever that means, it doesn't sound violent enough. <laughs> Possible rest cot. The cot is pristine, with no trace of sweat or skin particles detected. The materials used to construct it are not represented in any Angaran database, suggesting the item came from outside of Helios. Catch chair. Probable gathering place. 
Inscription translated from uh, Tanai's Het through Exaltation. We are reborn and set on the path to perfect harmony. Quotation is inscribed at each place. A smudged residue marks the area hold uh, underneath each inscription as if foreheads were pressed against the surface there. Okay. Probable gathering place. Personal missive. Fortunate greetings, Prefect Zigit. <laughs> Although tired and cold and close living, I have gratitude to be finishing my studies. Passing the electrovoltaic medium cultivation impregnate sequence is my true challenge. So I guess this is Sam trying to like translate some of this stuff and he's not being able to get some of the words. I hear the opportunities on Varakan to study harmonization for our empire gives me reason to persevere. Interesting. Possible personal lockers. The nameplate reads Destined Zhtk. They've all got names. And I can't pronounce any of them. How interesting though, like personal quarters and then a little study chamber. What? Hello motherfuckers! You I've come to destroy you. By also putting myself out the open and getting killed. Encryption tech. Communications room. If you can access the terminal, I will download the log for that hollow. Holographic system used for contact with the Archon and Ket hierarchy. All at home. That Archon sure is full of himself. It's revolting. No argument here. Download complete. Analysis may take some time. So... The Mosha isn't here. We need to keep moving. Which way is out? Check that console. That's blocked. Okay. Interesting. So... This is some kind of viewing chamber. I can't really see out there, but it looks like you'd be observing something from from here on these lovely little chairs. So the the I guess that's why they're called chosen, destined, all that kind of stuff because they're you know embar also embarking on a, a journey into an uncharted area of this uh, this galaxy. I assume everyone at home they're talking about. Oh, there we go. What? What is this? Whoa, hang on. Fortunate welcome. Step forward. I am humbled before you. You who are the chosen. Chosen by the Archon. Chosen to be exalted. Chosen to be exalted. Whoa, what the fuck? Are they gonna become Ket? That's why there's traces of Angaran and Ket DNA what? in that one stasis point. Why aren't they resisting? Holy shit. That's some crazy cult shit down there. <laughs> Those Angara look like they're in some sort of trance. I know the Moshai. She's not down there. But maybe in one of those pods. It's as good a lead as any. You wanted a distraction? We just set our plan on fire. Cardinal. Impossible. Arkham. Explain. We've been breached. I will defend the temple. Wait. Is 
the most I among these. No. It awaits final exaltation. Then proceed immediately and bring it to me. Wow. Final exaltation. What's final? What are they doing? We have to save all the Angara. We came here for the Moshai. She's our first priority. Your priority. My ship, my team, my priorities. Did I hear that right? The Chosen. Chosen for what exactly? Jal, they happy to be here? Yeah. No, of course not. I don't know what's going on either. Whatever it is, we need to get the Moshai out of it. So the Moshai isn't upon them. They're getting put in like these stasis pods because exaltation. Um, I looked it up to remember what the exact meaning is, where it's a feeling of state of extreme happiness uh, or the action of elevating someone in rank or power. So it's like the Angaran are going to uh, become Ket is how I interpreted that. You, they get put in pods maybe and that's and then they get like transformed potentially. Because if we if we look at this, this pod, which is what they got put in, it says it has traces of both An Angaran and Ket genetics are present. Reproductive sterilization or immunosuppression. Okay, I'm not exactly sure if it's going to be that, but that's really interesting. If so, exaltation. They'd be getting what I guess the cat would consider themselves to be like a of higher rank of species trying to be like a dominant force or something but holy fuck that's not what I expected I thought there was gonna be some sort of like viewing arena or something like that but it looks like they're witnessing some sort of strange process with that Archon statue looks nuts this is really fascinating I'm I'm loving uh, all of the development that we're getting on the Ket and, and Garan people, like, simultaneously. It's so good learning about them. Because it's it's way more than you expect every time. Follow our people. Where do they take them? Looks like someone is happy to be in on the action. Oh. Oh. There they are. Come in, Pathfinder. Go ahead. We contacted Commander Dozeal. More fighters are on their way. Send scientists to and technicians. Let's gather all the intel we can. We'll know. John, our objective is still the Moshai. Of course, but we can't waste this opportunity. I agree. Shredded, you just poke your head out and you get absolutely shredded by an anointed. No worries, mate. Oh, didn't pull it. I'm trying to pull it towards me and he's just kind of just, <laughs> uh, get over here. <laughs> Looks like, okay, never mind. Now his shield's coming back. There we go. The, the only problem with, like, when you pull them towards you, though, is you can't, uh, do a biotic combo, I don't think. It kind of stops the effects of pull as soon as you drop them on the ground. I see the pods. Look up. They go behind that wall. Must be on our way. You can ask these guys. 
guys for directions. Who's in? Scratch? A little busy. Pathfinder, come in. You holding up? So far, we're beyond the main chamber now and continuing our infiltration. This place is crazy. What are you seeing? It's like a... Church. Yeah, very religious. So strange. We found a room of prisoners who were entranced or something. Couldn't convince them to evacuate, so we had to leave them behind. So they are entranced. Okay. They're getting, um, sort of brainwashed into walking into those pods. Sam, any luck figuring out how this place works? Yes, Pathfinder. I am making progress, but the Angara have no intel on this facility. Should I prioritize differently? Are you in peril? Don't worry, Sam! We got this! Oh shit, where the fuck did that anointed come from? He just literally appeared. What the fuck? Okay. Fucking anointed. Alright, level up time. Uh, I want to put... I, wanna, I want my overload to do more. Uh... More damage, please. Chains one additional target, I think I want as well. Oh, damage to shields is good. EMP. Damage versus synthetics. Damage versus synthetics. And 30% all damage. Um, cryo beam is also a cool primer. Continuous stream of super cooled particles that freezes targets. Doing incinerate and overload together would be pretty awesome. This one has a shield damage bonus, this one has an armor damage bonus. Unknown! Investigate remnant technology to unlock this skill. Cool. VI controlled machine swarm. Um, let's do this as well. Put my tech systems up a bit and upload overload. There we go. Sentinel rank two, tactical tactical agent unlocked. Rank two, rank two, cool. Uh, Jarl, I'm gonna do this and this. Drac. Uh, we've only got four points, so let's. Blood Rage. Blood Rage. Sounds good to me. What if the Moshe isn't in one of those pods? Let me search every crate. She's here, somewhere. You're that sure of your intel? I am. At least I suppose so. Anyway, it's all we have. Alright. There's some frequent health drops in this room, at least, which is cool. I didn't know how strong it was going to be, I just fucking shoot it. Looks like it heads into the core. Ooh, hello. How many pods? We are. No matter where we go. Wow. We can try scanning. Do it fast. Restriction level Z. Five adjectives you gotta get out of the I got three. That's what that says. I'm a good translator. Angaran female. Healthy. 176 centimeters. Never given birth. Okay. That's oddly specific. Angaran male. Estimate 95. Healthy. Numerous healed skeletal fractures. Is this what we all boil down to? To the cat? So it seems. Not finding anyone like her. Ryder. If you find a console, I will try to access it. Female anomaly desired. Basic female. Basic female. Basic plus foundational. This is how you can <laughs> describe uh, women and males. Basic male. 
basic female. Mmm. Desired anomaly. You've got a desired anomaly about you. Alright. Uh, I think I've scanned all of the pods in the area. Let's interface with this console. Okay, cat terminal. Let's see what you've got hiding in here. Sam? Searching. The chosen unlock by genetic information. Hurry, please. I am working at top velocity with an alien language and an alien technology, checking against Angaran database. Sassy. I was here, but her pod was pulled out of line moments ago. Mm hmm. To where? Uh... Pods travel from here to rooms that encircle this core. On it. The Archon asked for uh, the transport immediately. Locate the Mashai's pod. Pathfinder, come in. Go ahead. Our reinforcements are arriving. We're doubling back to rendezvous. We have a lead on the Moshai. We think she's alive. Star strength. That's good news. We'll keep in touch. Okay. Hey, look. Come on, come on. Yeah. Okay. Melee. Okay, you can't use your melee if you don't have your gun out. Which is interesting. Alright, what does the map look like in here? Okay, main room. I'm going this way. I am not going this way. Door's locked. Is this other door locked too? No, it ain't. What's in here? <gasps> what is this room? We're just one yet. Grim. They're big, big bongs. It's a vape chamber. How is it grim? What am I missing? There's a bunch of rocks and some big vapes. What are we what's what's so scary about this one? Oh, what's this? Contents is genetic material. Oh. Require more of an in-depth study, but a complex interfusion of cat genetics and unknown foreign vectors. A cat syringe device. Okay. Alright, that's a little weird. It's a cat drug lab. That's why they're called the cat. They'd be producing ketamine. Decontamination product. Get down. You need enough horse tranquilizer for for a Krogan. Sam, can you do anything about this yet? Working on it. Ooh. Okay. Oh, the syringes. We're about to see. the Mashai. <laughs> Cat transformation? Is this what's going to happen? It is, holy shit. Wow. 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 As soon as you see a cat chosen's face, after that revelation, it makes so much sense. They've got very similar faces, uh, like the eyes and the nose and the mouth, but that begs the question. That begs the question. Um, is that how it's always been, or are the cat able to use the use their little you know syringes to convert any species to cat, or is that an just an Angaran? Are the cat an advanced or an uh, an exalted form of the Angaran people? Let's think right. There's there's theories in uh, in our own 
the people talk about the conspiracies of like the I, I remember like uh, reading or like hearing about people think that there are like advanced humans out in space and they dropped cavemen on Earth and then they and and then we evolve you know there's a whole bunch of like people thinking about like uh, different forms and variations of conspiracy theories of advanced human races or you know aliens being you know an an evolved form of us. Uh, and they, you know, they put us on this planet and all this kind of shit. Um, it's like fun reading. It's fun reading. Uh, but it's cool sci-fi um, what-if stories as well. And something that's really interesting about this is that my instant thought is that the Ket were previously, could have previously been Angaran people. Uh, and they're like taking Angarans and then turning them into Ket to strengthen their numbers and they could have been doing so for some time and I don't know my mind is racing already with like how how cool the idea of this is it's it's very tragic for the Angaran people if they seemingly have no idea but these Ket could be like advanced exalted Angaran people coming in and they oh man that gives me a very ah oh, I just that gives me a very Reaper dynamic straight away doesn't it you know, how the the reapers would come into <laughs> the milky way and 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 reset everything the ket come in to and replenish their numbers with fresh ang angarans there we go i can relate it to a mass effect thing oh it's very reaper like they come into this the helios cluster and they they put a bunch of angarans in pods in the way that um the reapers would put and process you know uh different species in their pods wow that's where that weird human reaper from Mass Effect 2 comes from. Because <laughs> they were harvesting a bunch of humanity at the time. That's something to think about. I was... I just... You just watched a theory developed in my head. I started with, ooh, Ket could be advanced Angaran and coming. And then I went, oh no, Reapers. Not Reaper Reapers, but it's like a similar sort of premise, actually. That's interesting. Ah, uh, there's a lot of dust up in here. Explosions! Monsters! Villains! Time to die! Dude. Um, the way that that transformation happened was wild. Okay, so that wasn't the Moshai. Burn it to the ground! That was just a random Angaran that got shown the, the transformation treatment. God damn, dude. Jal is mad. Got him all. Okay, everyone good? Now. What the hell was all that? One more reason to want to kill Ket. I've seen some serious crap. But this is straight up evil. Hmm. Yeah, I can't wait to find out more about that already. That's that's fucking amazing. Um, but yeah, they do have similar faces, and then they just form like a bony structure. Wow, the similarities are like right in front of your face because you can see like the the neck. Wow, you can see the physiology is so similar because they have that weird neck thing and the legs as well. Holy shit! right in front of your face the whole time. Joel? They are us. Yeah, dude. Holy shit. Keep looking, this isn't the only room. We'd better find her fast. They are us. Yeah. How many have I killed? Not knowing. Right I, I did not know. Fuck, man. That's painful. Uh, the, the genuine emotion in his face just before and how they handle it and, the, and the, the voice acting. Very well done. How can I help? What do you need? That is kind. I don't know. Well, then let's start by finding the Moshai. 
If anyone can figure out what this means for the Angara, I'm guessing it's her. You're probably right. Down here, found her. We can only hope that uh, oh, let's go. does not get converted. Oh god, they're doing it though. Sam, get me into that room now! Decontamination bypass hack. Oh no. <laughs> Invisible cunt. I guess depending, if the the Moshai seems like a obviously very important special one. They wouldn't just become a cat. They wouldn't become a cat chosen. They'd probably become something else. Being in Garen. Do they communicate in the same language then, or is it a is it a different language? I'm, I might. Hmm. There's so much new information I'm processing. I don't know if I've already read or learned about that actually. Because <laughs> um, the Angaran use Shalesh. I don't know if the cat used that as well. Sam, what have you got? I was able to access the facility plans at the last terminal. A best guess would be the shuttle launch area above. Wow. Just thinking maybe like the Angarans went out into different space of Andromeda to explore and then something happened to them and... You know, so many questions. There she is! I see her! They're getting ready to leave! God. Hang tight, Moshe Sefa. We're coming for you! You will not take her! No, you will not take her! <laughs> no, you won't! Protect the chosen one! Cardinal. Oh, uh, Jarl got too heated and he's already down, apparently. Wait. Jarl, oh, Jarl's in the red, but he's not down, because he's, he's running around. Whoa, what the fuck is that? Now you have to deal with me. Ooh, Cardinal's Orb. Okay, well, I'm going to destroy your orb that you're pondering, sir. Get fucked up. Oh, orb attack. Why is that orb so powerful? Right where I need you. Ooh. Oh, what? Barely any damage in the orbs back. Okay. The orb makes music when you shoot it. It has a nice little satisfying tinkering sound. God, don't make it so easy to hit if you don't want us to hit it, sir. So you can only obviously hit it when it comes around. If you didn't want us to hit it, you wouldn't have it rotate around you like that. Such a design flaw. Oh god, it got me. It just strips my shield. I'm running out of ammo here. Um, up. <laughs> up. Get me up. I will not 
god. Oh no. I'm missing every shot. Ah! Oh god. Don't suck on me like that. Oh, there's no health left on that thing. Jal! Jal got orbed. Oh god, I'm getting orbed. Health. Drac doing me proud right now. A destined they are. Getting more hits in now. Nice. I will not yield. None here will yield. I don't know about that. Oh, no. Ah. oh no, you're not a fucking anointed dude. Holy fuck. You just have a when you have an anointed just coming in out of nowhere, it shreds you. to stop meleeing. Great having button do multiple things. Okay, more health. Um, that sounded dangerous. Why are you keeping the orb in front of me? I can just fuck you up. There is an anointed here. I knew I could hear its fucking gun. Um, I'm out of ammo now. I need another ammo crate. I'm low. Here it is. I'm glad that this room has enough ammo and health things. Dying at this point in time, dude. No. <laughs> you were you were just dead. You fucker. Gotcha, bitch. Nailed it. Didn't die. Wonderful. 
Pokemon are shy. Hell yeah. Okay, I was actually fully expecting uh, her to get taken away or uh, transformed. Nice. I got you. We're getting you out of here. No one has ever returned from behind Ket walls. Well, I don't know the rules yet. <laughs> anyway, this place is on alert. We have Damn to get it. out of here Hold on. now. Perfect I'm time for my webcam to die. Here. They took the entire cell. Vitals are bad. The immune system's been decimated. <sighs> oh, you did you not explode. I thought you exploded. It is meant for the Archon himself. Ooh, what? Aha! Taken captive. Wait, I want to know why the Archon. Arrogant simpletons. This is a gift. Who are you to deny it? You turn them into monsters that fight their own people. These chosen join with us to become great beyond your ability to understand. Like them, I was once wretched, and the exalted DNA of our great Archon entwines with mine. I stand on the shoulders of his greatness, as they do, as one day, you will. So the Archon is like the... The origin of it all. Yep. <sighs> Except, greatness can't be engineered. Pathfinder, I am tracking multiple inbound cat cruisers. You will all be exalted. Sam, is there an off switch to this horror palace? I've accessed the EM field. I can overload at your command. We must get all our people out first. There's no time to open hundreds of pods, let alone help the Angara Wait, inside. Wait! Leave my sacred temple intact, and I will open the pods of the Chosen. Take them. Just leave this holy place standing. No. Even if I die here, this place must be destroyed. We can come back to destroy it. Let's free these here now. If your plan fails, the Ket will simply fill this place again. With respect, our compatriots are also here. Our fighters, our scientists, our strength. Yeah, dude. Like, of course that the... Isn't it so cool that the human comes in and the human gets to decide the fate of the Angaran people, not them? <laughs> like, I know that they're arguing, but I'm just going to stand here and go, Look, guys, I know what's best for everyone. And this and this facility and the Angaran peoples, I'm making the decision <laughs> when I'm the one that's put into the um, into the chair. We're gonna save the Angarans. All right, release the Angara below. Enact emergency shutdown. Release all the chosen. Jal, have the resistance free as many as they can before the Ket arrive. I will, and thank you. I thank you too. I see you begin. Not likely. She deserved much worse. We have them outside. Heading to the roof for extraction. Mm. I'm saving the Angaran people. That doesn't mean I needed to spare the Cardinal. Incoming. Not gonna let us go without a fight. I don't know how this is going to end. Because we need to. Ooh. Ooh. Stand near me. She's a glowing. She's a glowing. Save your strength. Um. That's my decision to make. Yeah. I fucking. I'm not gonna keep him alive. Cause uh uh. Cause then, like. You could just if we do fail to destroy the facility, we just start again. Uh. So. Save Angara and people, but the cardinal exploded in that boss fight. In my eyes, the cardinal was not even alive. <laughs> You'd already exploded. Alright. I like that we've got a cool shield. Um, it's just, yeah, now we have to push forward with the mentality that we are actually at the same time killing um, Angaran people that have been converted. Yeah. 
Good idea! Get to position! Wow. Pathfinder, come in. You have the most shine. Yes, we do. Act. Get our people out. As many as you can. Before reinforcements arrive. I will. We're all glowing. We it's cool. This place while we're here. It's literally the Titan's Head Defender up. Shield from Destiny. Let's go. Oh, hello. You're just coming for me then, not Drac right in front of you. Holy fuck, why there's so many anointed, bro? Oh, and fiends! What the f what the fuck? Hold out for a minute and a half. Okay. I don't have incendiary Ah oh, fuck. I don't have incendiary rounds. I can't do bonus damage to armor right now. Uh fuck, dude. How am I <laughs> uh how the fuck am I supposed to do this and anointed? What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, Drac. Oh, Drac, you were doing so well. Holy shit. I need to get these anointed out of here. I feel God. Failing. Leave me behind if you must. I'm injured. Twelve seconds. Ah! <laughs> My whole team's dead. Come get us. We're ready for extraction. <laughs> On our way. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, shit. That, what the fuck? <laughs> How many fucking fiends are here right now? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I just dodged back into like two fiends. Wow. Get her on the shuttle now! Resistance squad, come in! Here, we're making good time. Get your team out before the kid arrives. Don't worry, we got this. Where'd those fiends go? <laughs> they were on our asses. Oh, okay, we're in the Tempest? We're, we're leaving? Already? Um? All right, see ya. Bye, everyone. Bye. I'm sorry we fought. <sighs> what we saw will set our cause on fire. Yes. My broken heart can't even process it. Lexi, can you give us a minute? Sure thing. But go gentle. She's in a fragile state. Did she just call me frail? Fragile. <laughs> Jal says you're a pathfinder from the Milky Way. Do you feel up for a talk? Ah, so now you value what I have to say. I feel for you, but I don't regret my decision. Then your sympathy is empty. So, the facility. What's the purpose of all that? They call it exaltation. They believe that those they exalt are given a great gift. Gift? They snatch us, defile and shatter us. All the ones we love, I... I, I can't. It's a complex genetic construct, an interchange of traits that the Ket use to advance their species. So they steal genes. But why? Reproduction. Domination. Tyranny. Annihilation. Yes, and yet, the Archon didn't take me to his ship to transform me. I hung immobile, tormented, never sleeping, brought to him on a whim. He showed me remnant tech and beat me when I wouldn't speak. Oh no. Remnant, of course. 
He's obsessed. Like you are. Yes, Jal told me. You rescued me hoping to get into Aya's vault. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> tyranny, <laughs> destruction, annihilation. Uh, the Reapers. <laughs> My people have traveled so far. We'll die without a place to settle. These remnant vaults may be the key. A key to help both our species prosper. I feel for your people in a way that you clearly do not for mine. But emotion must never get in the way of science. I'll take you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Moshe Sefa. I'm happy to answer any other questions for you, Pathfinder. Anytime. Okay. Okay. She's sleeping. She's in a little comfortable position. <laughs> Okay, we just got a bunch of we just got a bunch of stuff in the codex on the cat and also the scourge. So let's get into this. So the the cat and the Angaran people are one in the same. So we're dealing with two with two variations of this of the same species. Wild. You saved Mashai Sefer, but angered her by refusing to destroy the Ket Exaltation Facility. Jarl approved of your decision, hoping the Resistance can one day rescue the innocent Angara still trapped inside. You made sure the Ket Cardinal in charge of the Exaltation Facility did not survive meeting you. We'll see if someone ends up filling that void. Okay, let's have a look. Mashai Sefer. Part scientific genius, part cultural icon, Mashai is treated with an almost religious reverence by everyday Angara. Her technological innovations have touched nearly every facet of their civilization and were instrumental in the construction of Aya's capital city. Her analysis of the Ket threat have slowed the enemy's conquest of the Helios Cluster by informing the tactics and goals of the Resistance for decades. From Giles' recollections, the Mashai chafes at her celebrity status and prefers to work in solitude. Unlike most Angara, uh, Mashai does doesn't belong to a large extended family, she claims she has never married nor born children, focusing on her life's work of unraveling the mystery of remnant technology. Her goal, stated in many of her writings, is to unlock the secrets of the remnant for the benefit of all Angara, helping them to overcome the Ket and restore Angaran civilization to its pre-scourge greatness. Okay, now let's have a look at this. So, Ket, Ascendant. So this is what the Cardinal is, according to this... Um, this image, looking like Spawn. The Ascendant are the highest uh, cast of Ket seen on the battlefield and are considered exceptionally dangerous. Apex reports they are typically only seen when the Ket are conducting high-stakes operations or when a persistent enemy must be eliminated. E-Zero cores throughout its armor allow an Ascendant to levitate off the ground, allowing it to command the attention of subordinate Ket and rain devastating fire down upon enemies. The Ascendant appear to have biological control over electromagnetic force. Cell samples gathered at great risk show electrolyte, electrocyte like formations. It is likely that an Ascendant uses equipment or implants to amplify and control this ability, allowing it to manipulate EM fields that empower its weaponry. If provoked, the Ascendant can unleash a ball lightning attack which conducts electricity to nearby foes or yank an opponent helplessly off their feet to deliver a barrage of blows. Okay. Now, Update to the Ket. So led by the Archon, the Ket are a powerful and technologically advanced species whose home space lies beyond the Helios Cluster, uh, but they're an expeditionary force seeking life forms for exaltation as well as secrets of remnant technology. So as we have learned, Ket multiply and replenish their armies via exaltation. The Ket take desirable genetic traits from other life forms. So it doesn't say Angara, it just says other life forms and incorporate them into the cat genome. It's very Reaper-like, isn't it? Because the Reapers would abduct uh, and harvest uh, anyone and everyone in the galaxy to replenish their ranks, but it's on a smaller scale. Instead of it being galaxy-wide with all species um, at the moment, it's Ket and Angara. Um, not sure how I feel about that yet, because it's very similar to it's very similar to the Reaper coming, the Reapers coming in and doing that. So it's a little bit copy paste. Uh, I'm sure once we get some more information and uh, how the story goes, I'll see how I f see how I feel about that. But first impression is a little bit like very very similar. 
Uh, the donor life form in return is mutated with Ket DNA. So Ket view this exchange as an almost sacred process of self-development, though our scientists disagree. So the Ket themselves remain enigmatic. We know they value genetic and physical superiority, that they willingly enslave other species, and they have positions throughout the Helios Cluster. Unfortunately, a sustained dialogue or diplomatic overtures seem impossible, as the Ket ruthlessly exploit any attempt at peaceful communication. Technology, so an interesting dichotomy. While they're faster than light drives and equipment show less sophistication than Systems Alliance tech back in the Milky Way, the cat are vastly superior when it comes to genetic manipulation and biological analysis. So their weaponry eschews VI support in favor of targeting neurological systems or internal organs with unusual precision, and salvage cat gear shows that even their battlefield medicine is exceptional compared to the initiatives. Okay, so this underlines the cat's interest in biological excellence. Their technology appears to serve a subordinate role to studying and improving one's own genetic superiority. Uh, it follows the cat pattern behavior. Conducting research development, cat engineers incorporate features from other species and improve their designs incrementally. Remnant and even initiative-inspired changes are even beginning to appear. So initiative-inspired changes, so they're very adaptable. The Anointed, so they appear to be of similar cast to the Chosen, their infantry equipped with light armor. Um, communications intercepts uh, suggest that Anointed assist in coordinating Chosen squads and act in an NCO role. With a new understanding, all right, here we go, with a new understanding of Ket Exaltation, it is now apparent that the Anointed are Exalted and Gara, transformed into soldiers of the Ket Corps. I'm um, assuming this is just going to say here as well. Yep, okay. So it just updates these. Yeah, what is this? Yeah, there we go. I think this would be a new understanding of Ket Exaltation. The similarity can be explained. It appears that Wraith are the result of exalting like feral creatures into faithful war beasts. So some of the, the native uh, wildlife that we've seen. Ket biology is a driving force in their expansion. The Ket are capable of transferring beneficial genetic traits from other species during exaltation, modifying their genome and expressing new traits almost immediately. I'm really curious to see what would happen if this was done on a human, because we've seen the Angara transformation. I would love to see um, a human, Asari, Turian, any, anything that we're familiar with transform into a Ket and see what that looks like. Because they, they could become their own unique thing. Because this is what happened with, like, uh, when we would go up against Reaper stuff in um, Mass Effect 3. It would have, like, the Reaper Rachni and the Reaper Turians and stuff. And they, they were called, like, their own, you know, thing. I wonder if we would see, you know, obviously a subdivision of, like, Ket soldiers that look kind of more like bony Turians or something. I don't know. So they can custom mutate their genome... All cat and their exalted have a distinctive white exoskeleton. The section reveals these growths contain fluid-filled sacs that capture dissolved gases from the circulatory system, slowly releasing them if the cat is oxygen-deprived. The fluid pressure of these sacs also stabilizes the body if environmental pressure is reduced. This helps the cat survive hazardous planets or even in the vacuum of space without suits, while providing additional protection against gunshot injuries. Exaltation. So the facility on Vold has revealed a key element of Ket strategy and biology. The Ket do not recruit soldiers, they take prisoners and submit them to Exaltation. This process transfers beneficial genetic traits to the Ket and turns the donor into a fanatically loyal Exalted, many of whom serve in the Ket military. The, uh, pro the process appears to be two-way, transferring carefully selected Ket traits into the donor. The resulting mutations permanently alter the physical appearance and glands of the donor, inducing hormonal changes that cement the individual's loyalty to the Ket. Scientists on the Nexus suggest that exaltation may have originated out of necessity if long ago the Ket somehow reached a state of genetic stagnation, adopting the genetic traits of others may have been their only means of survival. Today it is a ceremonial, if morally repellent, cornerstone of cat culture. That's some big stuff there. Okay, so... Have we got an update to the Scourge? Let's see. See, we've had the Scourge before. This is the thing. I wish it was highlighted, the parts that were new. I don't know if the only things that are new is the bottom or all of it. It's aggressively drawn to remnant structures on planets, though the cause of the attraction is not fully understood. So the Scourge and the Remnant technology is linked. 
Makes me think that there was some sort of thing that happened long ago with the remnant technology that might have caused the scourge to happen. As like some sort of cleansing thing. Or something, it's just experimentation gone wrong. Who knows. But there's some more lovely codex entries. Let's talk to the Mashai. Just need to rest up a bit while I recover my strength. You literally said that you're happy to answer all my questions anytime, but okay, false advertising. That's fine. We're back on the Tempest, so it's time to return to Aya with the Mashai. Just off to the cargo bay if you need me. But we are going to talk to everybody first while we're on the Tempest. Angaran word of the day, Tavum. A pleasant intoxicant stirred into hot water or fruit juice, say Tavum. Jal. What's it made from? Is it sweet? More like beer. <laughs> What happens if you mix it with booze? Does it get better or do they cancel each other out? We need to do some scientific tests, maybe with little umbrellas. <laughs> An intoxicant, nice. Mental wellness. Given recent events, this seems like a good time to refresh you on the Andromeda Initiative's mental wellness program. This states that mental disorders are real, relatable, and treatable. Come to the med bay if you have questions. Mental health is very important. And I've also got to talk to PB about some research. You know what we saw back there, right? Yeah, some this fucked up shit. This is good writer. The Archon's dangerous. I've seen people like him before. Why are you looking at me like that, Drac? Why are you looking at me like this? We can handle him. We'll figure him out. Pride will get us all killed. Damn it. This ain't the time for it, kid. I thought you would like stand, the head-on approach. <laughs> he knows what's best for us. Problem is, he can follow through on it. That exaltation the cat do, it turns people into slaves. He can do that to us. He has that power. Someone like him you take out fast and hard. Get the leader, the rest will follow. Honestly, drop a nuke on his head. <laughs> blow up a sun if you have to. Take the collateral damage. I thought he would like the head-on approach, but... I get the drop a nuke on his head routine, but we're not here to go and nuke the whole galaxy right now, so... Sacrifices are inevitable, I get it. Oh, oh man. Alright, let's just go with... Mm, let's go with that. Sacrifices are definitely inevitable. This lighting is doing nothing good for my face. <laughs> I hope it doesn't come to that. But exaltation seems almost worse. If he has his way, there won't be anyone left to save. You don't mess around with this kind of thing. Ends badly each and every time. Another galaxy and there are still despots. When I was on security duty at the Relay, colonies were attacked all the time. We trained the colonists and they started fighting back. Raiders didn't expect that. The Angara already know how to fight. But the Archon... He's got an army to back up his crazy. I've got my own army. But I've got you. And everyone else on board. Huh. True enough. Never underestimate a small, capable strike force. You keep thinking about how you want to handle this. <sighs> we'll only get one real chance at it, won't we? Yep. So when we take him down, let's make sure he stays down. Hello. Settle down. If this isn't a good reason to get excited. What's up? You guys aren't fighting, are you? Why would I fight with my best friend? <laughs> best friend? Oh, Callo. Callo's very excited about a report I received from EOS. It's good news. The radiation levels are steadily dropping. Your outpost Prodromos is really going to make it. When do you want to head back? Uh, I can add it to the list. We could go, but we need to balance our priorities. Why? Just saying, if I created a thriving community in a brand new galaxy, I'd want to visit. Just wait till they put in the beach and the water slides. <laughs> now you're just playing with me. So radiation levels are down. More to explore? I yes, but there's been a rise in Kate activity as well. Figures that we're not the only ones to benefit from the planet's improvement. Might be nice to see how it's doing. Almost like a vacation. Almost. Maybe we'll head back at some point. Well, you're the boss. Just say the word. Okay, that's cool. 
Um, I like that. So we did encounter some level three radiation stuff uh, last time we were there. We haven't upgraded the shielding on the nomad though, so I'm assuming maybe it's dropped down to level two and we'll be able to actually survive, which is which is pretty cool. So I like that they actually let you know, like, hey. Remember that outpost you settled? Maybe go back and check on it, and then you can go and have a look at some other areas. So, new exploration opportunities has opened up. Nah, -uh -uh, no peeking. I'm putting the finishing touches on my personal project. I thought you said it was on the Nexus. I'm just perfecting the final component here, or should I say, trying to. Several of the crew have offered to help, and I keep politely declining and ushering them out. So, thank you for retrieving that critical piece of Remtech. But kindly, stop digging. I'm naturally curious. And I'm sure the crew just wants to bond. Curious is good. Builds anticipation. I'll leave the bonding to you. Not my style. I realize it must be hard being the Pathfinder and not being able to know everything. But there's so much you can do that no one else can. It's safe to say that you, my friend, are one of a kind. I want to stop flirting with PB now because I I don't want to accidentally continuously flirt with every single character and end up in the deep end and in hot water. <laughs> because we've flirted with everybody just to fucking have fun, but I think at this point I need to uh, I need to think about my future, you know? I need to think about repopulating Andromeda Galaxy. Uh, and who do I need to repopulate the galaxy with, you know? Uh, and what better person out there than someone who I haven't decided to flirt with yet <laughs> but not PB but <laughs> I'm just gonna say we both are I don't have to explain genetics to you do I <laughs> everyone's one of a kind <sighs> yes yes assuming you're not a clone are we doing clones again distractions. the next time you're on the Nexus my project will be done come by and I'll unveil it now if you will Please leave me to my own devices. Okay. <laughs> Are we, me and Sarah Ryder, a clones? I'm a clone of Alec Ryder, and that's why we look so similar. Um, I actually really like PB as a, a, a character because she has a lot of personality, and she's very, she's very alive, you know, very animated, and I think that's really, really cool uh, in a in a in a game like this because in the original Mass Effect, Liara, especially in, in the first game, is very, <clears throat> very like reserved, very shy. It's very interesting. It's it's cool to have um, an Asari in your in your team that is the complete opposite of that. Essentially, like similar in their fascination with ancient technology, they're very much like similar in their passions, but the way they go about it is uh, is very interesting. Liara comes out of her shell a bit more uh, later on, but PB is already well and truly out of her shell. <laughs> Ryder. Exaltation? I never imagined we were fighting Angara. I find her jacket uh, really amusing, though, because it's like, the, the way the jacket is, is it's like folded over, and then there's a belt tying it together, and then it's like all off at the, at the bottom. <laughs> it's like, and I just can't help looking at it and going, did the zipper on your jacket break and you need the belt to tie it together? <laughs> It kills me to think about it. We have to stop the Archon, whatever he's up to. The more we learn, the more I realize how much bigger than me this all is. It's humbling. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. You know it. <clears throat> uh, I can't get a... I'm trying to see if I can get a good look on it. So you can see there's like... There's the belt that's like putting it together. And it just kind of goes out. It's like, where'd your, where'd your zipper go? You, you broke your jacket. You broke your jacket, PB. Uh, Codex PB update. She's becoming a resident expert on remnant tech, but she's maintaining her distance from the team. There you go. There you get a much better look at the jacket thing. <laughs> it's 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 a very interesting choice. That belt looks really tight and suffocating. Like I just I just know that I w that would be in pain if I had that situation happening. Somebody get a somebody get a tailor on this uh, on this ship stat. We need to we need to fix that up right away. I cannot speak to the sorry reproduction and cat exaltation are similar in a lot of ways. I can see it. The cat take other species genes. Huh. Sorry, take other species traits. PB. 
Don't tell me we actually agree on something. Change my mind. They're nothing like you. <laughs> um, interesting, actually. Yeah. The way that Asari reproduce is kind of similar. Alright, um, let me collect my minerals. Uh, and then let me update my strike team missions. Yeah, sometimes it, it has mission failed and then it quickly changes to mission successful. Okay. Oh, okay. Yep. Perfect. Good to know. I succeeded with a 55% success rate. Perfect. How do I get more teams again? You need mission funds. Oh, I've got... S ah. Ah. That's why it's taken so long. Okay. I need 10 more mission funds. And then I can have another team. Hell yeah. Let's send a strike team. I'll send Papa. And then I'll send... Quebec on this one. Wonderful. I'll get 10 mission funds for both of these. Okay. Got a whole bunch of nice equipment as well. For those loot boxes. No vids. Uh, we have the option to return to uh, Aya with Mashai right now. But I think we might stay on Vold just for the time being. I've also um, gotten more information now since one of my last episodes went live where I asked for uh, updates or information on your personal preferences, on what you love to research and create, and apparently uh, this PAW one is really cool because it's a high energy particle beam with incredible accuracy and it uh, it doesn't have, uh, it has an overheating thing, it doesn't have like actual ammunition which is cool, kind of similar to Mass Effect 1 weaponry. I researched the sweeper assault rifle, a couple of those, uh, which is a three shot burst one, but I, I kind of do wish that I <laughs> did this one instead, but lesson learned. Uh, I'm going to research the first level of that because remnant research data is harder to come across than Helios and Milky Way data. Um, but they look they look pretty sweet. So, and apparently the Hyper Guardian armor is really cool. Hyper Guardian and N7 is pretty good. We get a lot of Milky Way research data, so uh, I'm going to research. Uh, I'm going to research these as well. Because we spoke about this last episode where I was like, yeah, you know, these these menus and so much crafting and stuff like that can get, you know, very <laughs> tiresome at times. Tiresome at times. There you go. I perfectly was able to research the third one ever on everything. Um, so... Knowing some of your favorites, at least, gives me some sort of idea about what could be pretty cool to, to use, you know. Um, I'm liking what I did with the with our grenade launcher thing. I think there's potential there for something, for something better, for sure. Uh, Weapon-seeking projectile plasma bolts is really cool. Uh, I can't develop all of this stuff yet. Um, in terms of... The Hyper Guardian stuff, we can do that. Hyper Guardian Helmet number three. 10% max health, 4% max shields is quite good. And then Augmentations. Um, so Tech Recharge Speed, I only have one of each. We've got Combat Power stuff, Power Damage. I might leave this for now. I'm going to keep the fact that I can make these in my inventory, and I'll keep them in my mind, but I think I want to get some better augmentations before I commit to these. But I've got a lot that I can develop. I just wanted to spend some research points first. But we have, we have options. I think we're going to go back to... I'm going to talk to everybody about what's just happened. Because uh, I think PB had something to say about it, so I'm going to assume that everybody else is going to have something to say about it. Jal definitely will. 
At least we managed to save the motion. I only would. Oops. Joel? Thank you for checking. But I'm all right. Don't know if I would be. I have to be. How else do we go on? You know? I may seem tough, but I have a good shoulder. That's kind. You're kind. I really miss my family at times like these. Are you close to your family? I was really expecting Jal to be like, I don't know what that means. Because, <laughs> you know, the, a term having, you know, a shoulder to lean on, a shoulder to cry on, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, it's very interesting how it, um, there seems to be such an ease of understanding between us. When it's like, I have a good shoulder, Jal's just going to be like, why do you, okay? I think I would have really loved it if there was a bit more confusion between lingo, you know? and terminology that we that we use like because they'll be like yes I, i'm sure you have good shoulders but i don't see the the correlation you know <laughs> it would be cool if there was a bit more like i don't understand your sayings um that would just make it feel uh like the first the whole first contact and getting to know each other's species thing it would help uh make that feel more apparent you know you talk about family a lot. <laughs> really? I guess it's just part of our culture. Our families are large, and we share our parents with the community. We all have many mothers. My family's small. And are you close? Well, one's dead, one's in a coma. So, uh, not really. <laughs> actually, both. <laughs> actually, two are dead. One's in a coma, so not really. My family is complicated. Isn't much to say about it. Mm. Okay. This random collection of Tempest oddballs can feel like family sometimes. Yeah. I never really felt I had a purpose. But here, I do. What about the Resistance? My place in the Resistance is not what I'd like. But that kid on Aya looked up to you. Sure. But you are going to do something important, Ryder. I feel it. This is where I should be. I like having you around. Specifically you. Because of my skill and knowledge? Not really. Because you enjoy spending time with me as much as I do with you. You do? You're fascinating. <laughs> so bold, yet mysterious. So odd. That's... Thanks. And I mean it. It's, yeah, it's such an interesting... I think it's like a... Because it's not the flirt option, because it doesn't have a love heart, but I think it's more of just like an intimacy... Uh, an intimate friendship thing, where it's just like you, you bond and have a connection with the person that's uh, seemingly quite platonic, I think, is what that symbol more so uh represents so it's just you know like a, an appreciation on a deeper level for each other there's always more to say and to learn isn't there yes i want to learn more about your species what would you like to know nice he's now because we've, we've we've established some trust and a relationship between myself and jarl we're alien brothers now and now i can learn more about uh him and what the hell's going on here you studied with moshe sefa is she a teacher or a religious figure she's many things she's a clear thinker with deep knowledge and insight she teaches and inspires she's beloved i love her Love, love. I would say it's more of a respectful love. Really? So no, what don't say that. Don't say it like that. No, uh, not that way. Moshe Sefer is 115 of your years old. <laughs> I didn't know he was going to say it like that. Is there a central Angaran religion? There are many variations. 
An almanac could give you an accurate number. But if you are a believer, the essential tenet is, after we die, we are reincarnated. We evolve to make our families strong. Born from what was before. Blessed to be better than before. Are you a believer? No. Mm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sometimes. I don't know if it's the same for humans. Sahuna, my true mother, is a firm believer. Hmm. How long have you had electromagnetic capabilities? How did they evolve? No idea. Biology doesn't interest me, but I'm sure you can easily read up on it. That's disappointing. No biology at all? How do your eyeballs work? Okay, I get you. <laughs> Maybe I can find an Angara doctor to ask about your... whatever. Although, I used to know some facts, like the origins of our vestigial organs. Oh, yeah. Humans have a coccyx, a vestigial tail. And I have webbed toes, just a couple, but Sarah doesn't. And she had wisdom teeth, but I didn't. Now you. No idea. <laughs> and then it just cuts back to my face, just... I told you my deepest, darkest biological secrets, Jarl. And you... I like, no idea. I love the clap backwards. Like, how do your eyeballs work? He's like, look... Fair enough, mate. I like that it kind of, you know, raises the point where it's like, not every character you speak to is not going to know everything about themselves. <laughs> the Angara seem so open and free with their feelings. Are we? Hmm. Well, we're certainly not ashamed of our feelings. We're taught that feelings and beliefs should live on the outside, where they can be dealt with, honestly and openly. Don't people get hurt? Of course. Then everyone deals with it. That's the point. How many colonies do you have? On what planets? Since the Scourge, we've managed to survive on a small number of planets. What we know from before the Scourge is mostly oral history. We did have spaceflight, and the stories tell of five original colonies. Okay. Well, enough about that. Can you tell me more about the Ked occupation? It's a difficult subject. I'll answer what I can. I may get emotional. Have the Ked always been here? No. Some, like the Morshai, are old enough to remember the time before the Ked. But I don't. Nor do my mothers. And the Archon came with them? We think so. Resistance intel on that is unclear, and few have seen him in person. And lived to tell? And lived to tell. Mm. Okay. When the cat came, why didn't you fight? They didn't give us a reason to. Until they did. Then it was too late. Perhaps you think we were weak? But the cat are ruthless. They are masters at knowing exactly when and how to strike. I get that. Believe me. What's living under the cat been like for you? Do you really want to hear about these things? They're painful. I asked, didn't I? It's like living on unstable ground. Every day brings more horrible news. I part company with someone not knowing if I'll ever see them again. When I was a boy, my father vanished from my life. One horrible day. Was he in the resistance? No. He was a technician at a mine. He went to work and didn't come home. That happens for an Angara child somewhere every single day. Hmm. <clears throat> well, enough about that. Can I ask you a few more questions? Of course. If I can answer them, I will. Did you always want to be a fighter? Did you study anything particular in school? I... <laughs> no. I don't like to talk about it. But I'm not a fighter. Not really. The Ket occupation creates chaos. 
So our education is chaotic. <laughs> I'm not really anything, but that's an excuse. The truth is, I don't know what I want yet for my life at my age. I hope being here will inspire me. Can you tell me about your family? Uh, assuming you have one. Sit down. <laughs> this will take time. <laughs> is someone bringing us snacks and drinks? Whoa, your family's that big? I have one true mother, Sauna. And more than five additional mothers. And many, many, many siblings. <laughs> and cousins, all raised together. Our families constantly change and evolve. Relationships come and they go. My father is gone, taken, or killed by the cat. We never found his body. I'm sorry about that, y'all. I understand. I just lost my dad. <laughs> Something in common between aliens, then. We are fatherless, yet we fight on. Anything else you want to ask? Do Angara plan their futures? Do you dream about what you want to accomplish? <laughs> you put plan and dream in the same question. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. You meant to do that. Cool. Angara thirst for now. We don't strive to make the future better. We strive because the present is lacking. I really like that. And there you go. So there's a, there's a little bit more of that where it's like, oh, you put these two words in the same sentence. It's like, oh, you meant to do that. That stuff's really, really cool uh, when we when they, they talk about that stuff. I really like it. I genuinely feel like maybe Jarl's place in the party is almost supposed to be the Garrus type. Because... Uh, he loves to take things apart and get to know them and calibrations and all that kind of stuff. But and he's got his fucking like one eye visor on his thing and we have a bromance. But I feel like if I was a female writer, we'd have a romance. I think he's like supposed to fill in that Garrus void. I certainly feel that, I think. And you're just naturally attracted to the cool aliens. <laughs> well, enough about that. I'll see you later, Joel. Stay strong and clear. He's great to talk to as well. Um, that was really cool that we got to get uh, so much more out of him. Because uh, it's fascinating to learn that stuff. I love it. They aren't just conquerors or slavers. The Ket turn everything you are to their advantage. Worst kind of enemy. The one that makes you fight your own people. That's what Jaw faces every day. Now that we know the truth. Friends. Neighbors. All changed. And they're loyal to what changed them. This is really getting to you. Kandros wants strategies for handling the Ket. I talked with Drac, putting ideas together. Expand our guerrilla tactics, get Angaran military advisors, research exaltation. Just... I don't know. Wish your dad could give me his take. If his experience fell through, he always had smarts to fall back on. And now, Nasira, your father, they always had a plan I could follow. Without one, it's too easy for people to get hurt. Like now. The Initiative's plans are shot, and people die because of it. We're facing challenges we could never have prepared for. At least now we can prepare to fight the Ket. Sarissa will have a strategy. Just need to find her and the other Asari. It'll be good to have certainty again. I'm taking all of that uh, as an insult, by the way. <laughs> I'm taking all of that as no respect or uh, faith in me, Cora, by the way. Just just so you know that. Uh, just everything you said about, damn, I wish your fucking father was here. He'd have something to say, but oh well, your father's dead. And there's no one else who would be able to do that here. So we'll just have to wait for some Asari help. Thanks, Cora. <laughs> Jesus. Back again? Mm -mm. Yeah. Reluctantly. How's the search for the Asari Ark going? 
Won't know until we talk to those Asari on Eos. Any chance of swinging by? Yeah. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. And I'll bring you along. Reluctantly now. <laughs> Reluctantly. Am I going to flirt with the Turian? Yes, I am. <laughs> am I going to do more with with Vetra? Yes, I am. Really looking forward to kicking those guys. I like how the the Nomad is lifted up here as well. Is that because this lift is up? Does that go down with it? No, because sometimes it's on the floor. It's all propped up now at the moment. I mean, you can't even work on it from below. So I, I don't see the point, but that's fine. Liam! Oh, Liam? hello. <laughs> You're working pretty hard. All the time. Started young. Smart little kid. Got angry a lot. Side effect of giving a shit. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go. Looks like you're stressed. I don't want to add to it. No, wait. It's, it's just... When will Helios realize what it takes? It can't steal what people are. Hitting that facility on Vol should have united us. So I reached out. Trying to get resources moving in a real way. Bridge that gap like I did with Jo. I can't get permission coming or going. The Nexus, Aya, everyone is all. Can't take risks with outsiders. I didn't come here so everyone could be goddamn outsiders. I mean, we are outsiders. You can't, that's the, that's the thing. Uh, <laughs> Liam's got that mindset where he's like, we'll rock up and we'll be the ones to put everyone together. It's like, it's not that, it's not that simple, man. Like, this isn't our space. We're coming in here to establish space with an established species. We don't get to tell them what to do. I mean, apparently I do. I get to be like, we're going to save this facility or destroy it. But that's, that's because I'm the main character, Liam. And you're just a crisis specialist. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to just go with, we can't represent everyone. We'll be a little bit casual with it. What do you expect? I'm not even the pathfinder for every Milky Way species, let alone the Angara. Maybe not officially, but on the ground? Hard to ignore how much we do, and what's left to do. I wanted this. Everything new. But eventually, it, it has to be normal. I need something familiar. Can I show you something? Did you bring anything from the Milky Way? Uh, did I? I don't know. I'm just going to... Yeah, I suppose. I have a childhood blanket that I was uh, found in a, on the moon with. And I it was, in my, it was in my cryopod when I woke up. One or two things. But the weight limits were real strict. I know. That's why I made arrangements. He put something in his butt. <laughs> it's a proper petrol burner. 20th century. Okay, maybe not that. British. From when that mattered. My whole family works here together, weekends. <laughs> like those are a thing in space. How did you get a car? No, we did. Friends and Hustle set us up good. They borrowed us a transport right before I went into cryo. And me and my father and mother loaded our car into it and pointed it at Andromeda. They put a, he put his car, <laughs> he put his car into a shuttle and shot it at Andromeda. Um, and then that shuttle just on its long journey into space, floated all the way into the Andromeda galaxy and then disintegrated in the scourge cloud. <laughs> I doubt a transport would have a post light drive. It won't be here for... What? 2.3 million years at standard light speed. The important thing is, it's coming. And always will be. I don't know what that means. Picked the perfect moment for my webcam to die, by the way. <laughs> Just me pulling a face. Um, Liam's like, hell yeah, I'm gonna sh put my shuttle into space and it's gonna take a million years, but it's, it's coming. I, I promise. 
and then one million years from now, the the next step in our evolutionary chain will go, what the fuck is that? <laughs> it means your family, the Angara, this team? We're all lucky you care so much. Uh, I'll probably screw it up, Pathfinder. Join the club. The screw-up started 600 years ago. <laughs> Truth. This will be home. It has to be. I won't let being outsiders stop that. It's weird seeing the Omni tool being used without clothes on. Um. <laughs> Pathfinder, sorry if things got strange last time we talked. You're the first person I told about all that. It um felt really good. Anything I can do for my team, Liam. Stuff like that goes above and beyond Pathfinder. At least I hope so. Anyway, made me think we should do more just out and about. Off ship, like the market on Aya. I've got some contacts and some things I'd like your eyes on. But mostly, it's a day out. Something familiar. Turns out I need that. Yeah, okay. We'll see, man. We'll see. Day out on Aya. With, uh, with Liam. I don't know about that. Looks like pictures of the Exaltation Chamber. Yeah, the Ket are using some Angaran-made medical equipment. Could be a lead. I just want an edge on those Ket bastards. If they ever got their hands on Sid, I'd... Well, imagine if it was Sarah. I don't know what I'd do. We're all that's left of our family. Same here. Sid was so little when our father left, and I was... Well, her age now. I know what it's like to lose a parent. I've lost both now. Mom died before we left. Our father didn't die. Or maybe he did. We don't really know. He just didn't come home. He was involved with some bad things. Bad people. Eventually it caught up to him. There was nowhere to run. Not like a whole new galaxy. Is that why you came here? When you're young and stupid, you make bad decisions. Piss off the wrong people. <laughs> that sort of thing never goes away. Not for you, not for the ones you care about. I don't want to not come home one day. You're too tough for that, Vedra. Come on, you're strong. Smart. It'll take a lot to keep you from coming home. Strong, smart, but maybe just lucky. Luck runs out on you. I won't. I have a good feeling about you, Ryder. I should get back to work. Talk to my people, see if they've heard anything. Chat later? <laughs> Runs away. I gotta go look at my breakfast cereal. I thought I hated the cat before. Then we learned about exaltation. I can't even begin to imagine how Jal feels about this. I was curious about you and Sid, being on your own from such a young age. Yeah, I really wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Where was your mother in all this? Back on Palavan, I suppose. She was an awful person. All she cared about was climbing the ranks. She and my dad fought all the time. I think at the end they hated each other. Military. When things were really tough. I thought about going back. But she wouldn't have accepted us. Whatever my dad did destroyed any chance of that. Where was home? Palavan? No, we'd already left Palavin by then. Whatever our dad was involved in meant we weren't welcome there. I hadn't even gone to boot camp yet. Sid was barely a year old. We eventually settled in a mining colony in the Minos Wasteland. Two years later, our dad was gone. How did you keep you and your sister afloat? I was barely more than a kid myself, so lots of unskilled work. Construction jobs. No one else would do the dangerous stuff, so I would. Being up high, crawling under things. I could shoot a gun, so eventually I moved into smuggling. Even more dangerous, but lucrative. We were never rich, but we got to comfortable. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I'm flirting with Vetra. What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna... What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. That's what. That's what. Just off to the cargo bay if you need me. I... Don't care, Liam. Leave me alone. I'm going to read my emails. 
because I have a bunch apparently. There we go. Writings of Sarissa Theris from Cora. I know you're busy, but Sarissa's manuals and writings are really worth reading if you get some downtime. Especially A Rock in the Maelstrom. The first three centuries, the new Huntress's Path. Twelve Leaves. Speechless and Silences. Essays from the Void. Okay, Curious Vold Rock from Chief Lucan. Pathfinder, this rock you found is certainly something. As far as I can tell, it's a remnant of a meteoroid that passed through the Scourge before falling to Vold, infusing it with a similar charge. The presence of Helios native metallic elements within the rock may have allowed for such a transfer. I'm sure I'm unsure why the Arty reacted to it the way they did. I've stored it in a lead lined box, it unnerves me. Okay. <clears throat> Vetra, that last talk. Thanks for listening to me. I hope I didn't come across whiny. Could my life have been different? Sure. Could goddamn webcam? Why does this keep happening to me? <laughs> There's, it just literally cuts out. I'm gonna throw it in the bin. It's supposed to. It's supposed to be good. It's killing me, dude. It's honestly killing me. I'm sick of being silenced by my goddamn webcam. <laughs> Thank you for listening to me. I hope I didn't come across whiny. Could my life have been different? Sure. Could could have had a dad, a mum, a rigid upbringing with great prospects in the Turian civil service with the stiff collars and the yes sirs to go along. What I'm saying is, difference not always better. I don't regret anything or what I've done to get where I am. Don't regret coming here either. Thanks for listening. Enough said. <laughs> okay, bro. Never mind. Uh, you know how I'm out here searching for me true purpose? Yeah, poetry ain't it. Helios, are you healing us? Sheesh. Okay, Gil. Uh, should be sleeping. No, not Gil's poetry. I'm, I'm gonna... No, I don't wanna hear that. <laughs> not poetry late at night. Why are you sending this to me? <laughs> Stress test from Carlo. Hello, Ryder. Quite the rescue. The Tempest isn't intended for these kinds of operations, but she's performing splendidly. Not that I encourage you risking your life for stress tests or anything, but well done. I spoke to Mashai when I happened past Medbay. She left an impression, I must say. Patient, but remarkably driven. It's easy to see how she withstood the pressures of torture in that place. Sometimes I wonder what my people could do with a bit more time to be patient. And message from Vold. Intel on Ket. Greetings, Pathfinder. My name is Raylus. I serve the Angaran Resistance. Some of our scouts have returned with interesting information about the Ket that I'm certain will intrigue you. I will wait for you on Vold. Please come soon. Cool. Meet with Raylus on Vold. Well, we're heading to Rold anyway. So... Hello, writer. Exploring the Exaltation Facility brings a Salarian quote to mind. We uplifted desperate souls into weapons and know not what we destroyed. That's a fair description of Exaltation. I have changed since we linked, but I am still myself. Exaltation takes personhood and overwrites it. Destroys it. I already understood that such destruction is wrong. Now, through you, I know why it is abhorrent. Wow. You got another joke for me to offset that existentialism? How are those jokes coming, Sam? Why is it so hard to find a good steak? I don't know, Sam. Because it's a rare medium. Well done. Uh, <sighs> thanks, Sam. Nothing more. Goodbye. Goodbye. Don't want any of that anymore. <laughs> God damn it. Dr. Perceptron Hyperion. You get to choose your music. Wonderful. My headpiece keeps going through my collar on my thing all the time. Auto tint. Go back to my custom colors, please. <laughs> Athletic. Oh, I hate. I hate all of it. <laughs> like this is. Uh, this is probably all right. The, with the jacket. Ah oh, no! <laughs> Get that off. Get that out of here. Terrible. Drac, what do you got for me? Hey. Oh, okay. Shepard. We can talk more later. Sure. Shepard. Rex. Shepard. Rex. Shepard. 
Grunt. Ryder. Drac. Wonderful. Alright, I'm going to Vold now. Rylus? That's me, yes. I'm Rylus. Wow. You really showed up. <laughs> you said you had intel. I can't ignore that. I just didn't think you'd come yourself. Anyway, I should get to the point. Your raid on the Exaltation Facility sent the Kets scrambling. They're trying to get their operations in order. Our scouts report increased Kep movement through certain areas of Vault. Not military, though. Science and research vessels. So something that could involve Exaltation. Or the creation of a new Exaltation lab. Well, that's what I thought. Either way, Ket organizing means trouble. We don't have the tech to break into their bases. But someone has to stop them. I'll investigate this if I can. That's all I can ask. Thank you, Ryder. I'll send the nav point immediately. Alright, going to the Ket facility. still haven't found an outpost site yet because we want to we want to get our viability up so we can put an outpost on here um, activating those monoliths is going to be probably one of the best ways to do that okay let's take a look at the map uh, I have someone around the corner who wants my attention What are these symbols on the wall? My people worship here, in private. And I give the blessings. Would you like one? I'm a bit of a stranger to your faith. A stranger in all things, perhaps. The blessing is offered with simple goodwill. Why don't you practice religion in public? Those who are slaves to the Ket are forbidden to express their spiritual beliefs. We honor their isolation by practicing privately. Faith is also strongest when no one sees it. Okay. It would be an honor. I give you strength and courage, yet be clear your heart. You seem troubled. Oh, Pathfinder Rider. I was just speaking a blessing for two of our young soldiers murdered by the Ket. So many dead or disappeared, but these two cuts are the deepest yet. Do you need space? I can go. It's all right. Speaking grief lessens it. These children were swayed by a new belief that's taken hold. A soul finds enlightenment through reincarnation, but some now think they can force this. They fling themselves at death, thinking they will be reborn stronger. Glory seekers, we call them. I have heard of this. No one I know, but my Reincarnation is a nice thought, but to die for it? This has consequences. If you meet some of these glory seekers, do what you can to save them from death. That's all any of us can do. So interesting, being like, well, yeah, reincarnation. Better speed up that process, hey? <laughs> How do you become a priestess? With great hardship. Only those who know darkness can lead others to light. I speak weakly words for those who seek them. They take my words to their families, so that they all find the strength I once longed for. What do you believe? In the never-ending growth of a soul that is reincarnated within a family. A righteous action in this life begets enlightenment in the next. And with that, a stronger dynasty. What happens to the souls of Exalted in Gara? This is our great heartache. They are kept from the family dynasty. Lost to us in all ways. Thank you. Thank you. Speak to a glory seeker. Another eidetic trigger, Sam? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. <laughs> you got another unlocked memory. 
And this time I think we can actually uh, actually utilize it. So we just need to get to take down any of their defenses. Many lives were lost. A trying. few, and then eventually if it unlocks. Any way we can help the Angara deal with the cat? We're gonna do it. Get me up there, and I'll take those bastards myself. Dude, look at this. Underneath the ice, how cool is that? Crazy Vold Ice Deep Sea Ice Whale. Look at that! That's fucking cool! It's massive! I actually I wanna see that so badly. Got it. Over here. Killing. Impressive shot. Been tracking that thing all day. Thanks for the help. Do I get to meet the mystery sniper? <laughs> Only right. Come find me. Dude. Seeing that underneath the ice is fucking amazing. I want to see it like bust through the ice and it and it's not like a thresher more, but it's like, you know, some sort of crazy, crazy beast. And it does like a whale movement when it comes up on the surface. There isn't a place on vault away from those things. Nice shot back there. Oh, you the kid of Thanks. My father You're taught me as soon as I was old enough to hold a gun. I'm glad I'm not on the business end of that thing. As long as you're not cat, you're safe. You ever shoot remnant out here? I don't see them too often. I heard there's a big one somewhere, but I never found it. Whoa. What if that's remnant? Oh, no shit. What if that thing under the ice is like a remnant beast? It's got like the same kind of glow with like lights on it. Imagine that. Do the cat come around here a lot? Only some. Resistance patrols keep most from getting through. I pick off the stragglers. Usually wraiths like the one you helped me with. You ever miss one? Miss? Never. I never miss. Stay safe out here. See you around. The ice drills in Hijara worry me. It's right over Yuvara route. Oh, it'll be a... I don't think they can drill deep... Yuvara? Okay. It may disrupt their migratory patterns. We don't know what kind of effect that'll have. So they're talking about it. Okay, so it's a Yavara. Are you here to observe the Yavara? What are the Yavara? Walk onto the frozen lake and you'll see them beneath the ice. They've lived on fold for millennia. So cool. Stories about the Yavara are the only Angaran folktales that survived the scourge. They're beautiful, intelligent creatures, our closest tie to our past. And now your people will poach them right out of existence. Uh, okay. I haven't heard any reports of the initiative hunting on board. Not the initiative. Outlaws. They've killed two dozen in the months since they've landed. We have no resources to track these poachers and the resistance is spread too thin. At this rate, our only link to our history will disappear forever. Raider, the Yavara are vital to Angaran culture. We need to stop these hunters. We'll do whatever we can to help. We should hurry. Cool. Okay, so not remnant sea beasts. <laughs> sea machines. Somehow, Yavara stories are the only ones that survive the scourge. Most of them have the same theme. A Yavara song is so beautiful, it can coax the sun out of hiding, reveal the stars. Just stories, of course, but when your entire history is lost, stories are precious. I see why the Avara are important to you. To all Angara. They're a symbol of what the Scourge took from us. We can't lose them. Okay. Tell me more about the Avara. They're amazing creatures able to communicate through intricate songs. Long ago, we could have heard the songs in person. But the Scourge trapped the Yavara beneath the ice. Now we have to settle for static-filled recordings. How do they survive under the ice? No one knows. We've dedicated our lives to studying them and we still can't find the answer. They're cut off from food and oxygen, yet they still persist. My colleague here has a theory they may be remnant. We have no way of confirming this, of course. There's a theory that they could be remnant. 
I'll leave you to your work. It's all right. So I get chills every time I glimpse one under the ice. So they said, "Oh, we have a static recordings. I just wish we could hear them sing." The recordings are beautiful, but I bet the real thing is breathtaking. Are we just hearing static? What are you playing on a Yui boom or something at the moment? Or are those the, the real cries that I am hearing right now? I'm so confused. The game says we can't hear them, only recordings. However, um, I'm hearing some pretty pretty clear cries right now. I'm reading a temperature decrease. So I don't know. That might just be a. Uh, I don't know if that's a discrepancy between the dialogue teams and the audio teams who worked on the game. And they're like, let's put the cries there. And then the dialogue team is like, you can't hear their cries. So I guess we'll just uh, we'll just have to chalk it up to it either being an oversight or we're just listening to very nice recordings, not necessarily static ones. Suspicious man. Remember the last That was a misunderstanding. Okay. Okay. Message from the Resistance. Eska, due to the horrific attack on Aero Esk, I'm instructing all Dar leaders to be prepared to accept refugees. Please let Mariv know to make the survivors his top priority. They've seen a loss of their homes, their families. The least we can do is give them a safe space. I dreamed last night that the cat took you from me. It's been the same thing every night since you left. Nightmares are all my mind can give me. I'm not sure how long, much longer I can do this. Even in a paradise like Aya, I stay awake at night worried for you. I know you wanted to stay and complete your work, but is it really worth the danger? Come back to me. Pavoa, mama. Uh, Nishia says I shouldn't bother you, but I'm sneaking in a message to you in case you forgot about me. Is it very cold there? I'm happy it's warm here in the city. Did you get my drawing? Nishia says you keep people safe in Tekex, so I imagine you as a hero with a cloak made of stars. I miss you so much. I hope you come back soon. Bring me a present. Get used to it. Okay. Part of the job. They're getting drunk. Sure They're getting wasted. <laughs> No one's being cheated. You're How the human who came from Aya. Is it still beautiful there? Yes. The most beautiful world I've seen in the cluster. By a long shot. I miss it terribly. Now give me a beer. I was born there. Spent my childhood in warm air and sunlight. I'll never forget how that felt. <laughs> what do you sell? I trade with those who have things they don't need anymore, but who need things I have. Small comforts. Nothing of value to you. Uh, all right, mate. Bye. Thanks for talking with me. Thank you for reminding me of Aya. Don't mention it, dude. I'm only here to drop off some information and bounce. And maybe do a plant sample or two. Or maybe speak to a glory seeker. Let's do it in order of what we need to do. Let's do this one first. Let's see some blood. He left Vold? He got free and did Are you Buxel? I have something for you. From my brother who can't stop being a hero? Yes. Anyik told me to expect you. My son Skill said he'd sent people off to Nilj. I thought more lives lost. Nice to see I was wrong. Thanks for getting him out. Losing him would have set our efforts back months. Losing family is hard. I'm glad I could spare you that pain. Thank you. They talked about your abilities, but no one said anything about your kindness. Oh. Now, let's see what we have here. Stars and skies. This is... This is a layout of the Ket Command Center. Entrances, exits, security. We'll be able to cripple their operations. You're welcome. Wait, there's something else here. Oh, that's not good. Never mind. What? The base entrances are shielded and locked with a code which changes often. Metadata tells me they downloaded this weeks ago. The code is about to change again. If an attack is going to happen, it needs to happen now. That's right. Let me help. Tell me what to do. The code to disable the security shields is encrypted, but I'll keep working on it. I've sent you the map and a nav point for a side entrance that won't have as many guards. Go quickly. We'll be in touch. 
Okay. Ob observe cat shield or investigate the and observe. Okay, investigate the cat base. Remove the heart. So that's more cat base stuff. Let's level up while we're here. Should I max out my fitness? Regen, delay reduction in cover. Low health damage resistance. That's not bad, actually. Improving team shields. Squadmate power damage. Hmm. Tech effect duration. Energy drain. I might do the one where it does... Chaining to another target could be cool, but I might do... Extra damage to shields. When I have some shield enemies, and then... If I go to biotics, I might upgrade pull to do multiple enemies. Kinetic Warper unlocked. Adept profile has been ranked up. your incinerate ability and then that's all I got for you I think we've got some more codex information as well a crew like no other Cora enjoys flirting with you still that's good to know um, we're becoming close friends with Liam Cora's glad to have us as a friend uh, Vetra Confided uh, in you that when Sid and Vetra's father abandoned them, she had to raise Sid alone. Her life has been spent keeping her sister safe and giving her the best life possible in their circumstances. Jarl. Angara, don't hide their feelings. Your friendship will grow. We're going to be brothers. Pathfinder Rider, it is wonderful to finally meet you in person. I'm Ari Vestjik, scholar and chronicler. I followed your activity with great interest. Chronicler? Like a historian? Quite so. Denied memory of the past or hope for the future, we become dust in a void. The past can tell us an awful lot about the present. Exactly. Our struggles are difficult. We have survived much greater and can do so again. It is my life's work to document the events that shape our world. The arrival of visitors beyond the galaxy is a significant development, of course. Is there anything we can do to help your work? I have always been curious about how the Ket invasion began. They must have records of first contact, and we have none of our own. Where would you get that information? The Ket are a military people. They must have logs. And perhaps they can be accessed from their base on Vol. Approaching it would be foolhardy. Still, if you find yourself there, please see what you can find. Okay. Why don't the Angara have records of first contact with the cat? Those who were there cannot tell their tales. Dead, enslaved, or exalted. There are stories, rumors. No one knows for sure what happened. I'll leave you to your work. Of course. I hope to speak to you in less frantic times. I'd love to hear about your people. Search kit database. Is that nearby as well? No. No. Every time, more tasks. <laughs> There's just so much to do. Dispatch, Axul. I've received report reports of sporadic raiding parties from the Ket on Haval. I want controls stationed outside Thaldia's residence at all times. No excuses. It's crazy when you like you get to you have a couple of tasks in one spot, you get in there, you do some stuff, and then it's just like <laughs> you leave that area with fucking <laughs> three other things. It's like, oh my god. 
There's so many things to do. I think these minerals might be uh, upstairs. Uh, the minerals looks like it's above. What about the plant sample? Is the plant sample in here? Yeah. I detect an Andromeda plant sample nearby. Dr. Camden would find this useful. Oh, right. The garden. I got some research Botanist done. Pathfinder. Wait, why isn't it letting me... It's highlighted like I can scan it, but then... Let me scan it, bruh. Oh, this. There you go. Helios Flora. Hiya. That makes more sense. Okay. Now, is there a glory seeker here with us? Apparently as well. We're going to convince them not to kill themselves. I'm Keska, by the way. I haven't seen you around, Ted Chicks, before. But I'm coming around. Yo. Friends. You're the alien who saved the, the Moshai. How many cat did you kill? I hope they screamed. I don't kill cat because I enjoy it. It just has to be done. Well, yeah. Your people haven't been hunted and enslaved and exalted. It's different for us. <laughs> All right, that's enough. I know they call you Pathfinder. What do you need from us? Your priestess, Roshwar Lin, told me about you. I was just curious. Roshwar Lin is a blind old woman. She cowers with her blessings while the cat consume everything. She said you were throwing away your lives. Nothing is thrown away. It's not suicide. We train as hard as anyone in the Resistance. But when you don't fear dying, that's when there's everything to gain and nothing to lose. I can't wait for my turn. But all our blood still runs too hot. Tej is our hope now. Tej is going to take down a Ket station. We should hear the news soon. You want to hear that your friend's dead? That's kind of screwed up. We don't want it. We accept it. Just because you don't understand doesn't mean it's wrong. So where's this cat station? You shouldn't interfere, Pathfinder. It's okay, Veg. As long as cat die, it doesn't matter who's killing them. Here's the nav point. It was... interesting meeting you, Pathfinder. Skies be bright for you. Okay, help them fight the cat. What are you doing? A human? All the way out here? You must have guts. If anyone can help my people, it's you. Help with what? The cat destroyed a dar not far from here. Retaliation after the resistance pushed them out. The people were either killed or driven off. They left everything behind. Do your people have somewhere to stay? They're taken care of. But now we have a new problem. I'm a historian. That dar was home to a priceless Angaran artifact. A map of ancient fold. Wow. I sent two of my colleagues to retrieve it, but they run into trouble out there. The cat came back to finish the job. I need someone to help my people fight their way out. Don't worry. I'll dig them out of trouble. You're a lifesaver. I'll give you the nav point for the Dar. Please, hurry. Don't worry. If there's a task to obtain in this game, you bet it's the Pathfinder's responsibility to take it on board. I have all of the quests, and apparently also... Scanning minerals, um, and finding hidden cargo, and doing 
bring everything under my power to avoid doing the main quest, apparently. I wonder how long I'll keep this up <laughs> before one task is is too many. It's kind of like the, the trap of like open world type games is um, when you get like immersed and you, you're, you're very into the, the world and what it has to offer, um, it's so easy to get lost in the constant side quests and all that kind of stuff. And I am enjoying them, but it is a trap with open world games that eventually no matter what no matter even if i am absolutely in love with a game or not um open world mechanics tend to uh eventually you know over time become a little bit stale because it's hard to always be jazzed about um you know doing busy work all the time i need a a good healthy mixture of um side quests and plot movement as well uh, and I feel that this game is doing that on a decent amount so far it's also up to me to choose my side quest to main quest balancing but I think it has uh, I think we have a decent you know a decent amount of plot movement at the same time as me doing a bunch of um, a bunch of tasks so I don't know if I drop in here and just park my car up here And just chilling. I can't wait to find out what the fuck they're doing. Oh, what? God damn it. you doing out here you okay look i don't know what roic said to make you help us but he lied astra don't shut up <sighs> roic is a smuggler from kadara we all are flew here when we heard the ket were picking off villages he wants to sell the ancient fold map to the high spitter it's worth a fortune oh of all the slimy ways to make a few credits. You'll steal from my people after they lose everything. I changed my mind, didn't I? So why tell me this? When I got here, when I saw what the kid did to this place, these people are dealing with enough. They don't need looters taking what little they have left. I want you to take the map to the Resistance where it will do some good. What about Roek? He's not a bad guy, just has bad ideas. When we tell him about this place, he'll see reason. Don't be too hard on him, okay? Just take the map to the Resistance. A guy like that isn't worth my time. I'll make sure this map gets into the right hands. Good. Clears my conscience. Thank you. Ah, uh, so we can confront him, it's optional. What are you guys doing? To argue with Astra. Go ahead and take it. What are you guys, what are you guys doing out here? Where's the Turian Ark? Tell me. I'm reading a temperature decrease. I guess that's what happens when you hang out and you do a side quest uh, at this point without finding out about the Turian Ark. There are just restored. Turians hanging out. Um, I guess we'll just not confront him and we'll just go straight to the intelligence officer instead. Where are those two options? We've got uh, Roek here. Or bringing the map all the way back home. Okay. While I'm in this place, may as well help uh, Tej fight the cat. Hello. I can't do this. Taking this station is impossible. Are you Tej? Whoa! Didn't see you there. Yeah. I'm Tej. How did you find me? Wait. Kolf and the others, right? Stars. 
Don't tell them you found me like this. I wasn't expecting all this security in the longer I sit here, the more I doubt everything. You're just being rational, seeing the reality of what you're doing here. Doubt and a shrinking heart prevents a blessed rebirth. And you won't remember your life before. And if you forget, you're just like everyone else. And it would have been better not to die at all. Such a revelation. See, the more I think, the, the worse the thoughts get. I just realized he's wearing a helmet, except his head is... <laughs> His head, like his forehead and his like neck and just parts are all coming out through the helmet. I've got some experience with Ket. I can help with this if that would help. Would you? I think with all of us we might actually take down this station. Live or die, I wouldn't leave here a failure. Charge! Let's fucking go. Run in here and take this base single handed. Oh! <laughs> Why do I always forget there's guard dogs? Single handed. is upside down. Ah! Oh shit. I was gonna pull another target, but that's fine. Just have an anointed get in the way. Okay, 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 okay. There's some health back here, I think. Or is it just... Yes. Single-handed. Look at what's his face, who was down here the whole time helping. <laughs> helping, huh? Still alive. Oh, and honestly, uh, I'm glad. Living and learning is a good way to grow stronger too. And I've never met anyone who had a blessed rebirth. And what if it's not real? <sighs> Stars. If my friends heard this talk, they'd turn their backs. Vince especially. <sighs> oh, I'm almost afraid to go back. I can't tell you what to do, but maybe Roshwar Lin can help. I always liked Roshwar. And you're right, she'll know how to handle my friends. Whether it means we talk to them or... I stopped listening to them. <sighs> we grew up together. Sometimes you grow apart. Yes. Maybe. Thanks, Pathfinder. At least we kicked those cats on their behinds, right? We. We, he says. I'm sure you were a great help. <laughs> I'm sure you were a great help. Hanging out on that cliffside on your own, buddy. You did a great job watching the fight take place. But that's okay. Uh, I have a mission to do here. I have to return something. I have to return some 
ancient star maps. Extreme cold is detected, Pathfinder. You don't say. Yeah, so we're not going to confront Roic. temperatures are within acceptable limits. We'll just we'll just give the map. Life support is stable. Then you can show me next time you get back to base. You have questions? Map. A few treasure hunters found this map of ancient mold. They wanted you to have it. We thought we lost this when the Dar burned. Look at that detail. With this map, we could plan attacks through old trade routes, ones even the Ked don't know about. Whoever gave this to you deserves our thanks. As do you. Yes. I think I have enough info. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Thanks, Chief. Looks like the poachers have already moved on. Hold on. There's a data pad here. Message for Grell. We had to pack up and follow the fish, mate. They're actually pretty smart to keep on the move like this. Just use the signal to find us. Van spared, speared a little one. I think it was a calf, and the rest of them went berserk. Nearly drowned her. She'll get hypothermia at this rate, so we sent her back to the med bay. It means we're a hand short, so get here as quick as you can. Arvis. They have no idea what the Yavara mean to us. I want to understand. Why are the Yavara so important? Nearly all our traditional stories were lost in this scourge. Except for tales of the Yavara unfold. How they sang from the oceans and lured the sun out of hiding. How in ancient times they guided Angara ships to safe shores. That's beautiful. The Yavara are intelligent, amazing creatures. And they are being slaughtered. I'm really curious about what's going to happen when we do the monoliths and do the vault on this planet, because that means that it should reverse the Ice Age, right? And make the planet habitable. And then we might be able to see the Yavara... Uh, in swimming in oceans instead of underneath the ice, I suppose, which could be quite cool. So the poacher camp has now moved back here. Let's observe this cat shield while I'm over this direction. Pretty intense cat shield for the middle of nowhere. That's Jarnik. The Ked think they'll find some remnant thing there. Our people can't break through that shield. It's controlled from the main command base. Okay. Well, I've inspected the shield, so that's done. And the base is all the way over here. So I will do that later. So I guess we got to go into the base and eventually that shield will go down and that'll be something to do. On the long list of old activities. Must be the poacher's camp. Something tells you they won't let us stroll in and chat. That's Fuck them up. Oh, we've actually got fucking new enemy types now as well. Anarchist. Dude, Turian raiders, like exiles and stuff. Oh shit! Yep, there is a whole other side to this thing. Get in the car! <laughs> Drive away! Drive! Oh my god, why does it have to have bad handling on the ice right now? Get me the fuck out of here, dude! I'm gonna blow up. There's literally Ket on either side of the... God damn it. I want to sneak in from behind, and the cat are here as well, on this side. Okay. Give me a sec. I'm getting shot in every single direction. the 
anointed just flew really high up in the air. Oh, shit. What the fuck? <laughs> Buddy, get up. Now my car's on fire, it's a mobile source of heat, right? <laughs> Perfect. Control is sending a fleet of shuttles to Haval tomorrow. We anticipate breaking the planet's defenses soon. Plenty of new stock for this facility. So there's a control center for catch shuttles on fold. Yes, ma'am. As it contains a fragmented passcode. If we find more terminals, I can reassemble it. And oh. we can take out the control center. So now there's something else to do, which is... Um, also finding more... More terminals to hack? Okay. Uh, the poacher camp is like, like on top of it. Here it is. Alright. Mm. And then right there are the camp. <laughs> this must be the poacher's camp. Something tells me they won't let us stroll in and chat. I'm strolling in. Fuck, there's people in here too, man. We got targets! Just fucking charge in, dude. <laughs> Fight from the inside out. Charge! Useless, I am. Oh god, they've got a sniper. Of course they do. Check combo, dude. Holes. I can't see a health bar, so we're just going at it. Sharpshooter coming in for close range. Surely you're dead by now. Fucking hell. All right. Need some health and some ammo in this place. Without encountering more mess. Naturally, if there's going to be any ammo or health, I'm going to assume it's going to be in that cat base over there instead of the poacher's camp. Awesome. Oh god. I'm low ammo on like everything right now, so this is gonna be fun. Oh, 
Uh, okay. Guard dog. Oh, why did they aim like that? My life support is low as well. This is a disaster. I think there's one person left. Perfect. Nice work. With 37 bullets to go and my life support on its way out. I don't even think I have time to... I don't even think I can explore this poacher cave in time. I really didn't think it would go deeper into this thing. I'm, my life support's fucked. I'm gonna have to... I think I'm gonna have to leave and come back. I'm gonna just start taking damage in a second. I thought that I would get a fight in here, but there's no... Can we talk? Fine. Yes, we can. Hopefully I don't die while I'm in the middle of this conversation. <laughs> you and you took care of them. I understand that. Now let's talk. Okay. After all I've heard, I didn't expect that an Angara led these hunts. Then you've been talking to the Angara here. I'm sure they told you the stories, how the Yavara are the only living history we have left. Mm hmm But these creatures might also hold the key to our war against the Ket. Explain. I've been performing tests. An enzyme in the Yavara skin could treat the effects of cat weaponry. If I'm right, our fighters could heal faster and push back against the cat. No. Not like this. Creatures are dying. You see, my people would rather cling to tradition than think about the future. Even if the enzyme helps, the Angara won't accept it when they know the source. At first, maybe. But the Angara have always been survivors. In time, they'll see reason. Just let me continue my research for the future of my people. Ryder, I don't know how to feel. I can't make this decision. Let the human make the decision for the Angarans. It's only right. <laughs> Again. Jarl, I need you to step up and make your own decisions. I know it defeats the purpose of the whole game, but it's just its just funny. When all of the power is apparently put in my hand. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. Sam, send her information to the Resistance. Transmitting data. I suggest you get off Vold before they get that info. You're making a huge mistake. I'll contact the Commander. We ain't poaching around here. Alright, my uh please tell Oh there's a heater right there, there's a heater right there. Perfect. Heal me. <laughs> there is a heater. Restore my life support. Thank God. There needs to be more heaters around this place, guys. People people could die out in the cold. Me! Alright, there's a poacher camp done. Let's go for a swim. <gasps> <laughs> It was cold. It was not nice. Okay. I was expecting a fight, which is why I was panicking with my life support the way it was. But we're actually okay. But yeah, I think stopping the stopping that is a good decision. I I feel I feel good about that one. So otherwise it's just I'm like the temperature you know, decrease. It's poaching whales in, in human terms, you know? And it just doesn't sit right with me at all. Why is my character glitch sideways? What the fuck are you doing? I'm in fucking combat, dude. What are you doing? I am what the fuck? <laughs> What the fuck? Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. What are my legs doing? <laughs> what are my legs doing? What the fuck? 
<laughs> Mission failure. Oh my dear lord. Here I am just trying to follow evidence of battles that have taken place. Is there place. anything special about the battle sites we found? <laughs> In the end, the Ket learned to fear us. They fled like a pack of cowardly Ardi, and we fell on them like hungry Irox. The battle was short. I'm alone now, staring at the sky as my life drains away. If Marja had been at our side, if we hadn't lost so many others getting here, we might have survived. I can't speak for my fallen comrades, but I regret nothing. The innocent people of Dahalast are avenged. The Ket will for never forget the price they paid for invading our home and killing our loved ones. I have to go. I hope whoever finds this message will take up my cause. We the did Resistance it. needs to know what happened out here. I'll transmit all data collected from these battle sites to the Resistance base. Lovely. Good. Let's get out of here. End of watch. Perfect. And I think with that one, that is also the time for me to bring this episode of Mass Effect Andromeda to a close. We're at 39% viability. We've been clearing out a lot that we can do around here, uh, and we still have more to do down the bottom here. So I'm pretty sure next time we'll be able to focus on the restoring a world, we had to activate the monoliths primarily. Uh, there's the, the cat base as well that we'll be able to investigate. And then we should be able to land an outpost on Vault. So we'll look forward to that next time. Thank you so much for joining me for today's episode of Mass Effect Andromeda, and I'll see you next time.